mini mandrel. Um, so, and then I'm gonna recreate them the same as this. So work with me. I'm gonna actually do everything kind of in fast mode once I get going. So I'm not gonna be talking through this one. Hooray, hooray, right? So here we go. Okay, we wanna have a little bit of a higher speed and Just like that. Sorry, working with my left hand. I know it looks a little awkward. It is completely awkward if I'm honest about it. Very, very, very awkward. Working with your left hand when you're right handed is never easy. No, it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them down really short like we did on the other hand. I'm just gonna back up just a little bit here. There we go. Oh, I guess I've had them long for a while. I can always put them. <laughs> Look at that. That's a pee-hee-hee. <laughs> wow, what a design, hey? Oh. There we go. Remember, when you're doing things like this, especially when you're just standing off this free edge, turn your e-file up to a high enough speed, okay? We don't want it chugging and chattering along these edges. That's no good. It's hard on your machine. Okay, and just two more to go. Ugh, this is kind of the boring part. Satisfying, but boring. Okay, this last one. More tile in here. Doing a nice job, hey? Like these little teeny guys there, wow powerhouses but it is very nice because it is very precise in these areas where you like it to be precise not sure what grit this is it feels to be maybe about a hundred I know we have um, the 80s as well too but this actually seems to do a really good job here But it is very precise. So, you know, if you are doing some very precise work on your customer, client, great. As well, who else is this wonderful for? Okay, my educators out there, what do you think? Would this be perfect for your students? You think? Because they're so afraid of the giant mandrel. So this is so little for them. Um, I think that they're going to quite like it. It might be great for our training sessions, hey? Okay, so there we go. That one is just about done. Just about, just about. A um, little bit more refinement. Obviously, there's a little bit extra on the edge. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to catch that afterwards because I just want to kind of qu quickly go through this. I'm going to change this bit, though. We are going through this with me for the very first time. I've never used it at all. Let's see what this guy did. Okay, this is very, very, very smooth. Like butter. Their instructions tell me to go this way. Okay, let's do it this way. And I guess apparently this can be used for underneath too, for cleaning underneath. All right, yes. Very precise, it's very fast. But oh boy, we've taken down a lot already. Okay, let's try it on one of the other colors. Let's go back in with our flash reflective and let's just give it a try on there. So they say to go downwards. Wow, this is so fine. I'm surprised it's doing the job that it's actually doing here. It is very, um, yeah, it, it's precise, but highly effective. You know, sometimes even if you get like a, the coarsest course on these bits and it just doesn't really seem to do much. Well, this is not that bit. This is doing a lot.
Like it's it's actually I I'm, I'm surprised at how much this little teeny little guy is doing. I mean, not only is it a small size, but it's ultra fine. No heat. I am not getting any heat from this whatsoever. My speed is up pretty high because we are just trying to remove product, uh, but zero heat, nothing, not feeling a thing at all. And we do know sometimes with carbides, um, we can, you know, get that little bit of heat radiating through, but not in this case. Okay. Well, the rest of this, I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking here and we're just going to fast mode through this, but I did have to share you with you my findings and what I was kind of liking with that. So anyways, I'm going to be quiet now and we're just going to fast through. before and after. Yeah, it's quite a difference, hey? So these are just full sculptured. Um, this is how this hand started out and this is how we ended up. And so it looks quite beautiful. I am going to fix this hand and make it look like this. Before and after. Before. 